Wanna eat like a local and still feast like a king? You gotta stick around to find out. Five massive volcanoes built the island of Hawaii nearly a million years ago, leaving behind more than 4,000 square miles of majestic valleys, secret beaches, and breathtaking mountains. All this diversity makes Hawaii a paradise for any visitor. And Hawaii's many climates allow farmers to grow everything from gourmet coffee to fresh bananas. Combine that with the abundance of fresh seafood in the island's thriving cattle industry, and you've got yourself a world of flavor. Not only that, Hawaii's resorts make it possible to enjoy yourself without ever leaving the hotel property. But this island utopia is too beautiful to be ignored. My advice, get yourself a car and hit the open road. Good morning. Good morning. Uh, I have a reservation under Rachel Ray, R-A-Y. R-A-Y, great. Oh, well, it looks like you got the red hot rod Mustang today. Hot Good rod. choice. Yeah. Good choice. Can I take these? Are these all free guys? Sure, here? yes. There you go. Give that key packet to the valet that will retrieve the car and you'll be all set, ready to go. Thank you, you so much. Aloha. Have a great day. Bye. Aloha. Driving along the 70 mile Kona coast is a great way to see the leeward side of the island. This westernmost part of Hawaii offers everything from quaint fishing villages to stark coastal deserts to fertile upcountry farms that produce macadamia nuts and Kona's most famous export, coffee. With my own set of wheels, I could stop any place I want. Right now, I'm heading to a place I heard about that offers free coffee samples. Hey, Hi. good morning. How are you? I'm doing well. This is my uh, first day in Kona here. It's my only day in Kona, actually. Uh, and I wanted to learn a little bit more about the Kona coffee. Would you like to sample one of yeah, these? Yeah, I'd love to. Okay. This here is our house coffee, which is a French roast. That's wonderful. It's very uh, smooth and it's not too acidic. It's, it's kind of a quiet coffee. This is a medium roast and this is our Kona. Okay. Oh, that is so nutty. It tastes like there's nuts going all through it. It's delicious. Mmm. You know, all of this wonderful coffee is making me really hungry, though. <laughs> um, I've got a little internet printout here from some restaurants I was thinking about on the coastline for breakfast. Do you happen to know any of these? Oh, Maha's Cafe. Now, it's a little bit of a drive from here, but a nice drive. You know, I wanted to see as much of the island as possible, so... You can whatever. hardly get lost here. We have the high road and the low road, and, and, and that's it. <laughs> and I'll be in Waiamea before, before you. you. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Aloha. The drive from Kona to Waiamea takes about an hour on the coastal road, and it is spectacular. By the time I get to Maha's Cafe, I've worked up a tsunami-sized appetite, which is a good thing. Because Maha, the restaurant's owner and chef, is known for creating large-scale meals in her small-scale kitchen. Thanks for coming by. A one-time pastry chef, Maha bought Waimea's oldest wooden house, Spencer House, and transformed it into an intimate cafe. Here she takes advantage of Hawaii's freshest ingredients and creates delectables like her famous smoked ahi and lilikoi salsa. And the Maha had a little lamb sandwich. Oh, that smells like heaven. Thank you. <laughs> Decided? I sure did. The poi pancakes with the coconut syrup. That's a, anything else? Is there anything else? No. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> While I enjoy my coffee, Maha goes to work on my poi pancakes. This unusual twist on a flapjack standard is something that's hard to find anywhere but Hawaii because it contains poi, a staple of the local diet. Maha's hot cakes are made from the usual batter of flour, milk, eggs, salt, baking powder, sugar, and butter. But the secret is in the poi. 
an indigenous starch made from taro root that's been boiled and mashed. Topped with coconut syrup, these cakes have my name written all over them. And here you go. Beautiful. Thank you so Let much. Let me know if you need anything. Oh, this is great. A little coconut syrup. Oh, the aromas of this are just insane. Wow, what a great flavor. Great choice. <laughs> mm. And you know the taro root gives the pancakes this great texture. That's what poi's made from, is taro root. Wash it down a little pure kona. <sighs> you know, kona's a little bit of a luxury item here. The 100% kona coffee, it costs about as much as my breakfast, but come on, you gotta do it. When you're in Big Island, Hawaii, you gotta have Kona coffee. <laughs> yep, I broke my own rule and splurged on a breakfast item. My stomach knows it was worth it, but what about my wallet? I've stuffed myself on poi pancakes, and even with the Primo Kona, this morning meal comes to just 804. Coming up, I get a heapin' helping of a local favorite. Well, I've been sent by the locals, and I'm not really sure what to order. But will this native nosh eat through my budget? Stick around. It's no secret by now that I love a good farmer's market. That's because the farmer's market is where you can get a sense of the local community and sample its flavors. Here at the Waimea Farmer's Market, the food is fresh, the flowers are abundant, and the locals are fun. I was reading in my guidebook that there are more than 15 farm markets on the big island of Hawaii. That means, depending on where you're staying, you could find a farmer's market open every day of the week. Oh, mango bread. May I sample that? Mmm. Oh, it's wonderful. Wow, look at the size of that radish. Looking at all this big, big produce is making me hungry for a big, big lunch. As usual, I pick the brains of a local for the skinny on where to go. Is there any really cool, like, little local place for lunch around here? I want to just sample something kind of inexpensive but really authentic. Yeah, about maybe 15 minutes down the road, mm -hmm. there's a place called Text Drive-In. Do they got lunch? Yeah, good lunch. good plate lunches there. You can do a mixed plate or you could you could order just you know, mahi mahi and salad it and rice. perfect. Rice. Rice, all right, I have to have rice. <laughs> okay. But before I head out to feast on this traditional local lunch, I can't resist the opportunity to make myself a genuine leg. How many times have you poked yourself doing this? Oh, gosh. Well, as <laughs> well. Look at that. I helped make a light. Yes, she did. It's beautiful. That's for you. Ta-da! Oh, it smells wonderful. About 15 minutes up the road from the farmer's market in the town of Hanoka'a is Tex Drive-In, a place where Hawaii's friendly aloha spirit is alive and kicking. This drive-in turned family restaurant serves up a full menu of meals made from fresh, hormone-free meats and organic vegetables. Hi. Hi. Uh, well, I've been sent by the locals, and I'm not really sure what to order. They said something about a plate lunch. Okay, a plate lunch usually consists of teriyaki beef, roast pork, or curry stew okay. with rice and macaroni salad. Rice and macaroni salad? Yeah. All right, I want the authentic local uh, plate. Okay. The lunch plate might seem like a simple concept, but it actually has an interesting history. In the early days of Hawaii's sugar industry, plantation workers from all over the Pacific Rim came here to tend to the sugar king. At lunchtime, co-workers from different countries would compare and share homemade lunch items. Before long, Japanese teriyaki beef was sharing a plate with Korean ribs, Filipino chicken stew, and Chinese noodles. Generations later, this cross-cultural luncheon platter is a staple of Hawaiian cuisine. Thank Let's you. Cherry plate. Okay, thank you. Here we go, my first Hawaiian plate lunch. Ah, I think I'll start with the beef teriyaki. They say this is the local favorite. 
Mmm. The teriyaki is good. It's got a little ginger and it's kind of sweet. Delicious. Try a little of this rice. Mm. Not bad. You know, I think the plate lunch is a really good way to go. It's tasty, it's very affordable. Once again, you follow the locals, they're always in the know. Mm. The locals may know flavor, but did they steer me into a money pit? This hearty lunch plate with a soda and tax only sent me back $8.75. I still have over half my budget left. Coming up, an underwater adventure turns up a savory supper catch and an ice-cold beverage. Ooh, I love that first sip. You feel it all the way down. <laughs> but will my delicious dinner drown out my remaining dollars? Don't go away.